Hi, welcome to Automate Now. This is Marco Cruz. In today's video, we'll learn about drop downs. Let's dive in. We're back at the sandbox page. Now we're going to pay attention to this drop down here. If we click here, we see that we have several options to choose from. Let's right click on this element and inspect it. And here we see that we have a select tag. If we expand this tag, we're going to see that there are different values here. So we have several options to choose from if we want to select an item from this drop down. We could select it by using this text here or we could use this value here. The first thing we'll do is create a locator for this element here, the select element. So it's best to use this ID if we have one. So we'll use this ID here. Let's go back to the code. And here I'm in the sandbox test class. I'm gonna create a new test. Selenium offers a special class called select when we're working with dropdowns. So in this case, I'm just going to assume that I already have a method that I can call. And we'll say sandbox page dot select dropdown. And we'll pass the value that we wish to select. So let's go back to the application. And let's just say that we want to select binary. So I'm going to copy this text here. And we're going to enter that here. Now we'll go ahead and implement this method. We're also going to have this method return a handle to the sandbox page and the parameter will be a string. We'll call it option. Now let's go ahead and add a locator for this drop down here. We're going to say private by, we'll call it drop down. And we said that we were going to use the ID and the ID was DD. Next we'll come back here and now we're going to call the class that we talked about, which is select. So we'll say select and notice that this is coming from selenium support that UI package and we will call this D down is equal to new select and notice that here we need a web element. So we'll say driver dot find element. Now we need to pass the locator that we declared above, which is drop down. Now we can say D down dot and notice all the options that we have to select this drop down. We could select by index or select by value or by visible text. Since we're using the visible text, we'll select this option and now we'll pass in option. And that's all it takes to select this drop down. Now we'll go ahead and add a Java doc here. Now we'll go back to the test and once it is selected, we need to verify it. So we'll use an assert equals And then we'll call the method from sandbox page. Sandbox page dot. And we're going to call this method get drop down text. And here we need to make sure that whatever value we get from this method matches this text here. So we're going to go ahead and create a string here where we can store this text. I'm just going to call it my option. It's equal to then binary. Now we can just replace this text with this variable and here we can say comma and the variable name. The error message will be drop down option not selected. Now we need to implement this method here. This is going to return a string then we'll say return and what we need to do here is get a hold of the drop down once again. So we're going to go ahead and reuse this code here paste it down here. Now we can say return D down dot. And here we have this method called get first selected option. And this method returns a web element for the option that is currently selected. We need to extract the web elements text. So we'll say dot get text and we're all set. We can go back to the test now and run it. Before I do that, let's put a breakpoint here so we can actually see the selection. Now we can run it in debug mode. And here we can see that binary has been selected. We'll finish executing the code and we see that the test passed. Before moving on to the next video, I would suggest that you try some of the other methods for selecting from the dropdown. For instance, we could refactor this method here, select dropdown, and instead of using by visible text, you could try by value or by index. In the next video, we'll learn about radio buttons. See you then.